It appears that now is the time that we need to talk about why IVF is immoral. And before you all freak out and slay in my comments, delete me from your Instagram, I want to say this. If you've been through IVF, this is not a personal attack. If you've been through IVF and you have a baby, that baby is a blessing. You did the best that you could with the information that you had at the time. I find that many women going through IVF are duped. Now let me explain to you why IVF is immoral. Number one, we're not God. We're making babies in petri dishes like we are God. We're not God. Number two, the goal of IVF is to fertilize as many embryos as we possibly can. What happens to the embryos that are not utilized or implanted, they're one, frozen in time, or two, they're thawed, which essentially just means they're destroyed. Number three, if you have embryos that are fertilized that do not meet the criteria of the clinic, they can refuse to implant your babies into your womb, forcing you to kill your babies. Number four, pornography is oftentimes utilized in collection of the semen sample that they need for IVF. The list goes on and on, but these are the things that I want you to start talking start thinking about. This is where our conversation begins. I love to encourage helpful discussion in the comments. Please be kind to each other, uh, but I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and you cannot be pro-life and pro-IVF. Yeah, they don't go together. You need to just stop saying anything because you are so far off the mark that it is actually maybe even a little bit categorically crazy for you to say any of that stuff. If you're going to comment on IVF, you actually need to know what you're talking about because you just misinform thousands of people. And the fact that over 2,100 people actually liked what you posted is actually terrifying because it's completely categorically misinformed. And let's take it one step at a time, okay? First of all, we are not playing God by making babies in a Petri dish. There are all sorts of different scientific things that people do and medical things people do that are considered valid that are not playing God. That's like saying we shouldn't treat cancer because we're treating cancer and being God by taking it away when we operate or when we use radiation or when we use chemotherapy. We're not playing God. We're using scientific tools that someone religious like me, and I am very religious, believes God gave us to help people with. So we are not playing God. Thank you very much. I don't appreciate you saying that. I work damn hard to get to where I am right now. And you have no right to claim that I am playing God when in fact, I am not playing God. I'm actually helping people with tools that God gave us to use to help those people that need it. That's number one. Number two, the goal of IVF is most definitely not to make as many embryos as possible. The goal of IVF is to get patients pregnant. And we only need to use the number of embryos necessary to get those people pregnant. So if you get 20 eggs, do you have to fertilize them all? No, we have religious patients that only want us to fertilize two or three at a time. So they don't end up with a lot of frozen embryos. And there's lots of options for those patients. So that whole idea that we're trying to make tons of embryos is absolute gibberish. It's simply not the case. And if you knew anything about embryo math, then you'd understand that it actually does take a lot of eggs to get enough embryos to just have one baby. So we do need a certain number of embryos, but the goal is not to make as many embryos as possible. The goal is to get people pregnant with one healthy baby at a time. The next step was you saying that when you make all these embryos, then we're just basically going to not use them and then they're gonna get thawed and so we're killing all the embryos. Where did you get that idea from? You're like on drugs or something. This is ridiculous. It's absolutely not the case. Frozen embryos are called frozen embryos because they're frozen. We're not actually thawing them and therefore they are very much in stasis where they can be used again and again and again if the patient wants or they can be donated to other couples to use or you can do whatever you want with them and some people just keep them frozen. But we don't just automatically thaw extra embryos and kill them or terminate them unless the patient requests that that's done, which is generally speaking fairly rare. And then finally, you say that the criteria that we need to meet are critical and that lots of people that have embryos don't meet the criteria means that the embryos just get killed. Where are you getting this from? Like, 
which IVF center are you working with or where do you get your knowledge from? Because currently it looks like it's coming from the back of a cereal box that was made in an anti-IVF super fundamentalist something or other, you know, kitchen. The reality is the embryos that don't meet our criteria don't meet our criteria, A, because they're unlikely to become babies. And B, we don't kill them. Again, those embryos are not just being thawed. You have the option to go to a clinic that might use them. You have the option to try them regardless if the clinic thinks that they're good or not. There are all sorts of options open to you. We don't just terminate embryos that don't meet our criteria. You're just making stuff up in some sort of psychotic scare tactic to brush people off and make them think, that what you're saying is true. It is absolutely 100% misguided idiocy what you just said. And you should very much be apologizing to the millions of people out there that have done IVF and had successful outcomes and ended up with families that God very much wanted them to have because no matter what religion you're a part of, procreation is a central thematic portion of every single religion out there.